Hey Sagittarius, this is ZJ from Tarot to Tarot. I hope everybody's having a good day today. I am doing, I guess, the first of my nine, the first set of my nine Taurus readings. Um, those of you cross watching that have seen my other videos know that my phone blew up yesterday when I woke up because people wanted to know how dare, matter of fact, actually it was how dare you just read for Taurus. She read it for everybody. So I had planned on doing it eventually, but I guess sooner rather than later. Sagittarius. Everybody's getting ready for Thanksgiving. Christmas will be here pretty soon. This is going to be a reading for November 14th through the 20th for Sagittarius. Shuffle these cards one more time. Do a quick five card reading for the week. Let's see what we got going on with Sagittarius. Let me cut my cards. And if this is your first time, welcome to Tarot to Tarot. Um, I don't do reversals. I do everything straight up. Like, share, subscribe. If this is resonating, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my page. I love you all. Thank you very much. So Sagittarius, let's get you down on the table. First card is the Hierophant. Your next card is the Ace of Pentacles. The third card is Queen of Cups. Uh-oh. Fourth card is the Tower. And your fifth card is the Ace of Cups. Your overall energy on the bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands has been showing up a lot lately. So let's see what we got going on for you guys for the next seven days. A lot of nurturing energy coming from this reading. Sagittarius, I don't know if you've been hurt recently or if you've had some kind of trauma in your life, but just know that everything is going to be okay. Um, looking at the Hierophant card, which was sticking out to me and what I'm remembering about that card is, is that it relates to mercy and goodness. And if you look at the actual card, dude kind of looks like a priest with his hands up in the air like he's in a church. Um, yeah, you, you need to forgive somebody, Sagittarius. You need to forgive them. Um, and, and it looks like this is what's coming up with today is Tuesday. So we're running this from tomorrow actually through next Tuesday. But the, the energy can be on either side of the week from Sunday, this past Sunday, up through next Friday. But you, you, need, to, you need to forgive this person. Um, and you need to take the beginning, take a new beginning. I don't get the impression that this is necessarily a romantic relationship, but it looks like something that may have had potential to be that way. Um, the tower moment is not so much an actual thing in this reading as it is of you're gonna have to get to the point with whoever this person is you're gonna have to get to the point where 
you tear the whole thing down and start over. That is the only way you're going to get this new relationship with that Ace of Cups. Um, I don't know what you found out. I don't know what you heard. I don't know what this person did to you. But I can feel the pain. I, I, and it's just sorrow. But you need to forgive them. You need to forgive them. Um, I don't think the situation is as dire, maybe, as you want to think it is in your head, Sagittarius. It really isn't. Um, you, you're going to need to show some compassion. You actually are probably going to have to, to lend a hand in helping nurture this person. Um, and you're gonna have to get to you're gonna have to get to this point where you recognize that you can have a new relationship with that person, whoever it is, male or female, whatever the energy is. Um, yeah, you you are gonna have to do some forgiving, and it is you gonna you gonna fall out. Whoever this person is, whatever you find out, whatever this is. Because I'm looking at the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's a fluid energy. But she's also a compassionate queen. But looking at it, it's almost like somebody's looking at, and just work with me here, like they're looking at something they've never had before or have never... Um, looked at before and I think whoever this person is they whatever they did they did it and you're going to have to here's your tower moment you're going to have to confront them about it and you're going to have to tear excuse me you're going to have to tear some shit up so you can get to this this new place this new place there is some water energy here so things are going to, if it hasn't happened already, it's going to happen and it's, it's going to be rather swift. Um, but just know you, this person is not some mean SOB that you need to knock in the head and do something crazy, uh, you know, cut them out of your life. That That is not what I see here. That is not what I see here at all. Um you are going to have to expand your knowledge about this person and whatever particular situation they are in or that they're coming out of. If they hurt you, they did not mean to hurt you. Um, and, and, and not especially in the way that you're hurting. I don't think this person really knows that um, you're hurting to this, to this extent. And you, 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 again, here's the tower. You're going to have to get up in that face, get up in that ass, and say some stuff, and clear the, clear the air. The only way you can get from here to here is you got to do here. You can't get here without here. So you, you're going to have to stand up in your truth, and you're going to have to tell some bitch, look, this is what it is. This is who I am. And once you do that, the beginning of it is there. The beginning of it is there. And, and, you know, and I say this all the time. Everybody's been watching me for a minute. People that know me. Um, when you see that hand, that's divine energy. I don't care what you heard, who you heard from. When you see that dog on hand coming up out the sky, that is divine energy. So that means that the divine is in this. And, and whenever you're dealing with divine energy, here we go back to the Ace of Pentacles. Boom. That hand coming out the clouds. That's divine energy. Um, in this reading, I'm going to say that you're going to need to exhibit some of that divinity. To this person because if you don't you're going to be mad and pissed off forever about whatever this little situation is and you shouldn't be um 
mad and pissed off about it forever. You should forgive them, help nurture them, and get them back to a place of wholeness. Um, the overall energy, the Eight of Wands, the action card, it's a fire card. It's the, just definitely about speed and quickness um, and changes. It's definitely about changes. So I think at the end, the only thing that would have been better, and let me see, let me just clarify um, a couple things here. I'm using the Brotherhood of the Light. Egyptian tarot cards to clarify. Let me just get some clarity on some things, but you are going to have to forgive them and you're also going to have to love them. This may not even be about a romantic relationship. It might be about a family relationship. And you might have that sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, brother that just acted a doggone fool somewhere and embarrassed you or turned out on you or did something and you just mad and you, you don't see it. You and, and I think, I believe next weekend is Thanksgiving and this is kind of falling in my Thursday, Friday slot. The tower is. So that's probably going to be an instance where when you get to um the end of next week, you might have to have that tower moment and, and have it out. Universe, clarify the tower moment for me, please. Clarify the tower moment. Clarify the tower moment for Sagittarius. Okay, so I got the six of scepters. And that is Harmony and balance. Yeah. So you're going to have to have this tower moment so you can bring some harmony and balance back into whatever the situation is. If it is a romantic relationship, the, the same principle and theory applies. Um, let me clarify the Ace of Cups universe. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius, please, for the following seven days. Clarify the Ace of Cups for me, please. That's Libra energy. It's the Empress card. Um, yeah, you're going to have to take some action so you can have this new beginning to whatever this relationship is. Take your time, Sagittarius. Don't, don't, and just because you're angry or upset about a situation, don't let that push you one way or the other to reconcile it and make it whole again or better. And don't rush to, to walk away. Think about it. Think about if it's if it is a romantic relationship, think about what you've been through with this person so far. Think about the potential. And if it if it's not, if you just don't have it in your heart, then you just don't have it in your heart. But I think if you can find it in your heart, you will come up with a good beginning and a good foundation. Again, I, I'm not getting the feeling that this was whatever this is that happened was something that was uh, mean-spirited or, you know, somebody, you've been in relationships before where somebody just tried to dog you out and just dogged you out because they could dog you out. And you've had family relationships where people in your family were just idiots. And, you know, no matter what you did, you couldn't take them nowhere because they were just going to clown anyway and embarrass you and everybody else. This is not that kind of energy. This is something that happened, and it wasn't intentional, really. But um, you are going to have to be the one to step up and do the forgiving. I know, that, I know, I know, I, I know everybody in the world is going to I got to be the one. Yeah, you're you, you, you going to have to do this. And in this, if you do this, you're going to grow from the experience because there's a lot of growth here, you know, despite the the tower and, you know, the, the queen of cups sitting here looking at her cups and 
you, if you do it, you're going to be okay and you're going to recognize some strength about yourself. So I'm going to say have the courage to accept the situation as it is. Have your tower moment. If you need to get up in somebody's face and tell them which side the buckwheat the bear set in, do it. Um, and stand in your truth. Don't back down. Stand in your truth. But also have some compassion. Because there's a lot of, I see, I, I just feel it. Even as I say it, I can just feel the need for this person needing your compassion. Give it to them. Give it to them. And sometimes, you you know, you if it's a romantic relationship, if it's a family relationship, you know, sometimes we have to take the gloves off and get ugly and just tell folks exactly what, who to what and hell. So I'm going to say stand up in your truth. But have some compassion, show some mercy, and, and throw around some of that goodness you Sagittarius have. You know, I know you guys have it because I have a bunch of Sagittarius in my family. My grandmother, the least of those. And for all the ranting and raving and crazy stuff that she likes to do, she's one of the most compassionate people that I know. So I know Sagittarius can be a compassionate sign. Um, I think once you do that, you will clear the air. You will feel better. The person probably will not feel so guilty about whatever it is that they did or didn't do. And you will be able to walk out on firmer foundation. I'm going to leave your reading here, Sagittarius. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and a good weekend. I will certainly see you. I'm, I will be doing everybody's reading now every week. But I will certainly see you here next week. I'm wishing you love and peace and happiness. Take care. Bye, y'all.